Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Naj D Jihad. So, we are just still waiting for peace. Right now we're spending some... ...points on religiously sponsored guilds. That, and goods produced nationally, I, I, I don't know if that's worth it. It'll hurt our income, both production and trade, but... ...kinda wasting points on that right now, we don't need the extra mercenary. Or the missionary. And then this one... This one's okay. Well, maybe. Maybe not. We have no overextension, so it's not benefiting us right now. Let's get rid of that one, too. I think most of our revolt risk is just coming from... ...nationalism, which can't be reduced anyway. We're losing claims. Not that worried about it. Fabricated all these claims on Castile, never did anything with them. What kind of wars do we have going on right now? Current wars are our only two. The Orissi Crusade against Diviet. Diviet's opinion of us is really low. Can't interject ourselves in any of these war, any of these wars. There's no point. It's just, it's just a time of great peace. Still trying to improve relations with Poland. Their opinion is up to fifty-four. Scandinavia has declared war on Russia. Well, we can't make Russia like us. They're threatened by us, but... It's my land, Scandinavia. Can't have it. Eight Regency Councils. Venice has embargoed us. I'm going to try to avoid spending too many more Diplo points, because... Um, we still have another 24 more base tax to annex. Which is a lot. And we're down to 300 Diplo points. Oh, nice. 2-6. Alright, sure, Scandinavia. I see no reason to, to really prevent you from doing what you want to do. Damn, all of our generals are dying. Boo. No fire value. He's useless. I don't want to hire more, though. Let's knock out another trade company. Uh, really? We have privateers in one of our nodes somewhere. Aragon has sent some privateers in here. Interesting. You don't see them do that too often. Alright, come on. We're 13. Can't take too much longer. I think it's kind of silly how you can't declare war. You can do anything else, but you just can't declare war when there's a Regency Council. Why not? The Regency Council manages everything else. I mean, royal marriages. I mean, you can do whatever the hell you want. But, for some reason, you can't declare war. It's just a silly restriction, in my opinion. Now, Aragon has embargoed us. We're going to make so much money when we get Zoo, and then we build a whole bunch of manufacturers over there. I'm going to just save my money for a bit. I feel like our income's lower now. Weren't we making like 200 ducats a month? What the hell happened to my trade income? Cape of Good Hope, 11.89. What the f... What the hell? Something's changed. That's what's changed. The Gianagar is screwing me. They're sending the trade in the wrong direction. You bastards. Looks like we do need a merchant there. Well, we will sort by trade and, uh, okay. We're making the least in Basra, but that's a home node. We're automatically collecting there. So Kazan, yep, you're the weakest link. We're going to send you back down here. Little bastard Vigianagar. So the problem with relying on other people to do it is that they might change it. Okay, we've maxed relations out with Oirat, but they're probably still negative. And they will be for quite some time. But, whatever. 
suppose we could subsidize him. There we go. Income should go back up substantially. There's an extra hundred dollars a month. Hundred buckets a month. Those little bastards. That's what I'm talking about. I need some money. Okay. Are we of age yet? That's the thing. We're not even going to get a pop-up when we turn 15. Well, we will. About the Regency Council ending, but... Ugh. Our point generation is garbage. With this Regency Council, too. If I were the if I were the French, or say the Ottomans or something, I would have a 5-5-5 a five, five, five Regency Council. Just because reasons, you know. Alright, who do we need claims on? Conan Borno. We can attack them again. They have cheap little base attacks. We can take two provinces off them in the next war. I want to take a bunch of stuff off Mali, who are still allied with Great Britain and France, apparently. So if we declare a holy war on France, we would be able to take these provinces and a bunch of Mali stuff. That would work well. Congo, still a protectorate under Castile. So we declare a war directly on Castile, take their stuff, then we declare on Congo. Wrap up Congo. Take more stuff from Castile. Still got, like, 90 years left. And we're capped out on administrative points. We have no temples to build. Constables? Nah. I suppose we can build some constables. I'm just going to build them in this area because I, I train all my troops here. And there's a small chance we might end up with a treasury. Probably not, though. No, I'm just going to build the... Whichever one is it down here costs monarch, uh, administrative monarch points. Plantations? You get 11 ducats out of those. Okay, what about arm estates? Oh yeah, that's that's the stuff. Nope. Looks like it's going to be plantations. What are these, anyway? Coffee. Oh, we have, we have coffee. Good. Gain a level 3 trader. I suppose we could fire the current one. 500 ducats for an extra point a month. Hmm. That might not be worth it. Come on, let's end this Regency Council. End the Regency Council. Stop being so stupidly young. Nine months to go on the annexation of Zoo. <laughs> I do think the plantations are going to pay for themselves. I have one more ship to combine over here, don't I? Let's merge up. Look at those pirates. Finally! And our air is garbage. Alright, so without any overextension... We're able to get some trade power here. Being embargoed doesn't help. If we kill all their ships, that would help substantially. Because they're they're getting 900 trade power from ships. We need to kill Portugal's ships. That's just what it comes down to. So, let's see. Um, we technically don't have a CB against Portugal. But Portugal is allied with Castile and Aragon. Castile is allied with Genoa and Brabant. So direct war on Castile would be good. We could just annihilate them. We declared on Castile. France would help, though. Aragon as well. Same thing. Perhaps we want to declare a war directly on France so that we can isolate them. They probably do have some boats. Let's go check that out. Total ships. France has 97 ships. They have 28 heavies. France is allied with people that don't matter. So I have way more heavies than they do. We don't have a leader, though. No leadership slot available, either. We'll definitely take these things. 
Here's what I'm thinking. Maybe we protect trade in uh, in the Bordeaux node, or just try to go blow up their navy. We'll probably get it blown up anyway. This is important. We got to decide who to attack next. We still have truces with a lot of people. So like Ming, I can't attack. Dive yet, can't attack. Orissa, I could. They're subject to France. Are they a, a protectorate? Or a vassal or something? What's to deal with them? They're a protectorate. Okay, so we go to war with France twice. I'm leaning, I'm leaning towards declaring on France down here. First off, let's get our maintenance up and wait a few months before we do it. Make it a holy war. Um, make sure that our armies are combined and safe. They'll be slightly oversupply, but not enough that it matters. We'll need another claim here. Any reason to get a claim on this stuff before we take it? I mean, it is 5.6 base tax. We could save 5 times 5. We could save 25 administrative points if I just did that. Hmm. Well, we have more admin points. We need more morale. More uh, piety, rather. Alright, some constables it is. I mean, I just need to dump some admin points. But I think France is the one. Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding me. I hate this. I just hate this event. Aspiration for liberty. Blah. Lose six stability. All right, fine. 39 revolutionary regiments rise up in Najd. Do we want to change government? I mean... All right, so we got revolutionaries. What they want to do is they want to turn us into, I think, a republic. A 453 becomes ruler. Overthrow the government. I don't know. I mean, we still have the same country tags. So we can still do the achievement. Maybe we just let them see just... I don't even really care. It's just an annoying event. The fact that you lose three stability is stupid. But if we just let them take over, then... I think the stability gets reset. No, that's only if you break if the rebels break your country. That'll never happen. But if they occupy the capital, we can accept their demands, right? Or didn't it say that they will never accept? They will never negotiate. So we would just have to let them siege the crap out of us. And then enforce demands. But the 453 is pretty tempting. No, no. No. We're just gonna beat him up. We'll go back up to positive one stability. Do I have any army nearby? Let's just take care of this crap. Man. My generals are sorely lacking in proper points. It's going to be a narrow, very narrow combat, so I don't really worry too much about it. What, what the hell is this crap? Another revolt? Why? 0.8%. What the hell is this? Get disorder until the end of liberalism. Whatever. Another rebellion. Go take care of that one too. Hmm. Paradox, stop making stupid events about rebellion. It's just stupid. Got this I just got this in the multiplayer campaign too, and it's just it's just dumb. I don't like it. 
I mean, you just made me sit around for eight years for some stupid Regency Council, and now I've got to deal with these idiotic rebels that are just stupid. Pose no threat. I mean, I'm just trying to consider if it's advantageous for me to let them win. It's just a nuisance. Hey, Zoo has been integrated, and we've got a lot to convert. Now's probably a good time to consider trade again, actually. Because we've just gained a lot of trade power here. And some of the wealth is going in the wrong direction. We also picked up all their boats. They were fairly powerful. All right, we are losing money. We are over the naval force limit now. All right, looks like there's just the one rebellion now. Yep. Okay, well, I'm gonna come down here and hopefully we can catch that army. Go ahead and combine it. Let's grab a fast maneuver character like this guy. See if he can speed them up a little bit. Now we have trading in tea, trading in chinaware. We no longer care for people who embrace Persian. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, they've been part of our country for 300 years. Let's just stop accepting them as a people. We don't care for these people. We're far too diverse to accept people who've been part of our country for hundreds of years. <laughs> Suddenly they're no longer accepted. It's just, that's another stupid event. Sorry. I'm really complaining a lot, but it's stupid. It's really stupid. Alright, this is just going to be an assault. And you can head back up to here and here. Okay, is the event done? No, we still have Aspiration of Liberty. Lasts for another 11 years. Why? I'm not going to take this. I'm not going to pay 6,000 ducats. Why would I do that? Ooh, we have galleys. That's dumb. You guys can go to Malacca. Okay. Well, um, I wanted to go to war with France. I'm not sure if I'm going to now. I think I will. If we declare war on France, we end up at war with a bunch of people that don't matter. And France, on their own, they have 108,000 with only 25,000 manpower. Very easy war. It's glorious in the eyes of God as well. We want to do our holy war. And I think I do have um, spare diplomats that should be fabricating claims. I'm just being lazy. Yes, I am. Fabricate a claim on you. Congo. You have a base 10. I'd like to get that, but... Timbuktu, definitely the type of, co of province you want to fabricate a claim on. And then we'll get one more over here in Castile. Whichever one of these is the highest base tax, Isabilia. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Next video we will trash France. Thanks for watching everyone. See you soon.